Selection form is one of the most popular macros in FastKey's text expander. Instead of using static text, it allows you to dynamically select one of the predefined choices from the list. Certainly one of the most powerful automation tools available. This is my text template, and you see there are parts which change each time I use it. I'll locate the cursor at the correct place and select Selection Form Macro from the menu. I'll give it a name and a short description. Then I'll type a list of choices into the selections field, one per line. OK. See, the select placeholder was inserted into the phrase. I'll enter the text expander abbreviation and save. Let's try it out. This was very simple, but now let's see which other options are available. The fun part is that you're able to choose from many different types of selection controls. Let's try them out. We have used the list box first. Drop down list is the next option. I can select this preview menu to see how it looks. You could choose this type when your selection list is longer and want to save some screen space. Combo box is the same as drop down list, but in addition, it allows the entering of custom text instead of making a selection. Very useful in some cases. Radio control is also similar. As others, it allows one selection. Now the checkbox control is different. Checkboxes are used when the user may select more than one entry. That's why I'm able to set the delimiters. This is the text that appears between the selections. The default is a comma and the word and. It'll look something like this. Okay. Then I wanted to mention a slider control type. Here, instead of the selections, you need to enter the value range, for example, 1 to 20. Sliders would be typically for a numeric value input. And finally, random type. Here, fast keys will automatically select one of the choices randomly, for example, a random quote or similar. There were a few other control types I didn't mention. Just try them out and see how they work for you. Text labels, separators, or even images can be added to the form. One more thing. If your selection is a longer text, you can add a description. Something like this. Followed by a double colon, which is a description separator in fast keys. In this case, the description will be shown on a dialog instead of that long text. Here you may wish to enable the Remember Last Input option. In this case, the latest user selection will be chosen when you call the form next time. No Output option is very useful in specific cases. For example, when you just want to gather the data to be used later in another macro, like conditions, calculations, or scripts. Finally, fast keys can also manipulate the output if needed. Select this Output Format menu to add further instructions. There are many additional options here which could come in handy at times. To change the general appearance, open Preferences, Appearance. Here you can set the colors and fonts for your selection forms. You could come up with something like this. 
I hope you like this tutorial. Please check fast keys from the links below and subscribe so you don't miss future content. Thanks so much for that. And if you're looking for some improvement in your public speaking skills, I love to bring that to you through publicdynamics.com. Check that out. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you in the next one.